Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make two different snowflakes from plastic clothes hangers. For the first snowflake, the first thing you need to do is collect 18 hangers. Today I am using child sized white hangers, but you can use any size or color you wish. The next thing you will need is a package of zip ties. Today I'm using ones that are about 4 inches long. Now it's time to begin constructing our first snowflake. This pattern is made up of two layers, and to start we're going to begin by forming the bottom layer. To do this, lay two hangers with the flat edges together. And one thing I would like to mention is that on this particular snowflake pattern, I faced all my hanger hooks towards the inside. Now, I did make a pattern where I had them facing to the outside, but this is just personal preference. To make the bottom layer of the snowflake, we're going to be using eight hangers. Simply continue laying the hangers out in this pattern until you have four pairs. Something important to note is that when you're laying out your patterns, make sure that the hangers touch each other and that the rounded edges meet at the center. Now is a perfect time to stop and take a second look at your pattern. I'm happy with how mine is laid out, so it's time to show you the next step, which is to take a zip tie and bind a pair of hangers together. During the zip tying process, make sure your hangers stay nice and flat. Do this to all four pairs of hangers. Once you have all your hangers zip tied together, take a second to trim off your zip ties. The next thing we're going to do is take another zip tie and attach two hanger hooks together. Do this all the way around. Now that you have the outer edge of the snowflake secured, it's time to do the same thing for the center of the snowflake. Take a band and loosely zip tie the rounded edges of the hangers together. When you're done, go back and tighten all the zip ties, making sure your hangers do not stack on top of each other. Again, go back and trim all the long zip ties. Ta-da! Layer 1 is complete. Now we're going to do the same thing for layer 2. We are now ready to begin constructing our second layer. To do this, we're going to be placing our new hangers directly on top of the first layer. And to help you get your hangers in the right position, here's a tip. Match the curve of your new hanger to that of the first. Then, line the straight bar up to the bottom hangers. The hook of the top hanger will meet with the straight edges of the bottom layer hooks. Do this all the way around. Here's my top layer put together. Now, I'm going to attach it to the bottom layer. And to do that, I'm going to zip tie at the hooks and at the center of the snowflake. Time for the center. Now I'm going to go back and tighten everything up. And when you do this, make sure everything stays right in place. Everything is nice and snug, so now it's time to trim our zip ties. And can you believe that my mom wouldn't let me use her Christmas reindeer scissors? She said I had to use these ordinary blue scissors. Oh well, 
I guess it's a good thing there's a song called Blue Christmas. Now that I've gotten everything together, I'm ready to reinforce the back because this is going to be a free hanging snowflake. And to strengthen my snowflake, I'm going to add two more hangers to the back, laying them with the straight bars facing one another, making sure they are in the center. Don't forget to secure them in place! For this pattern, I'm only using 10 hangers. So, if you're on a budget, but still want to make homemade, cute Christmas crafts, one package of hangers will do. And as a reminder, I'm still using child-sized white hangers, but you can use any size or color you wish. The first thing we're going to do is make five pairs of hangers just like this, and I'll show you how it's done. Go ahead and place your first hanger flat on the surface you're working on. Then, take your second hanger and face it the opposite direction. Line up the two curved ends and follow the bottom hanger at an angle. Add two zip ties to hold it together. One here and one here. Time to trim your zip ties. Oops, wrong scissors again. Now, clip your tie ends off. Now that our five pairs are complete, let's start laying out our snowflake. Place the matching rounded edges toward the center of your snowflake and the two separate points towards the outside. Once you're satisfied with how your pattern's laid out, it's time to loosely zip tie the hooks together. Time to secure the center. Once you're finished, go back and tighten all zip ties. As I was tightening the zip ties, the hook stacked a bit, but that's okay because it just adds more character to the snowflake. Unlike Snowflake 1, this has no back brace, so this particular pattern would have to hang against something like it's doing now which makes this pattern great for windows, fences, doors, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will like and subscribe. Also, comment down below to let me know how your snowflake turned out.